गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मिस मौसमी सेन गुप्ता योर बायोलॉजी टीचर टूडे आई एल स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज टिश्यूज नाउ व्हाट इज अ टिश्यू ग्रुप ऑफ सेल्स हैविंग सिमिलर स्ट्रक्चर एंड दे एक्ट टुगेदर टू परफॉर्म अ स्पेसिफिक फंक्शन दैट मींस अ टिश्यू इज मेड अप ऑफ ग्रुप ऑफ सेल्स हैविंग सेम स्ट्रक्चर and performing one specific function example epithelial tissue present in the outer layer of skin so first you will learn the definition of tissues next coming to the second topic that is tissues are of two types one is plant and animal tissue now today i will teach you plant tissues plant tissues are of two types one is meristematic another one is permanent meristematic consists of apical intercalary lateral permanent tissues again of two types one is simple another one is complex simple again of three types one is parenchyma collenchyma sclerenchyma complex again of two types one is xylem another one is phloem so this flow chart you will learn next is what is meristematic tissue the meristematic tissue comprises of group of cells that divide actively that means they are made up of cells which continuously divide so you must know what is meristematic tissue next is the characteristics of meristematic tissue first is they are living that is they are made up of living cells second they have thin cellulose cell wall that is the cells have cell wall which is thin and is made of cellulose next is shape of the cells the shape of the cells they are either spherical or oval may, may be polygonal or rectangular now the cells they do not have intercellular space between them next is coming to the location of meristematic tissue as they are made up of continuously dividing cells so they are mainly present in the growing regions of the plant they are of three types one is apical meristem lateral and third intercalary based on the on their position in plant now first apical meristem the location of it present in the growing tips of roots stems and branches what's the function of it it helps in elongation of the plant second lateral meristem their location found between the bark and wood of trees and the function it helps in increasing the thickness of stem that is it leads to the increase in thickness of stem third is intercalary meristem the location of it is it is present at the base of leaves or internode and the function of it is it helps the plant to grow lengthwise now the function of meristematic tissue they are responsible for growth of plant lengthwise and breadthwise so in meristematic tissue first you have to learn what is meristematic tissue or define meristematic tissue second characteristics of meristematic tissue next is the based on position of meristematic tissue in plant they are again of three types apical lateral intercalary the location of each and the function of each and one main function of meristematic tissue next coming to permanent tissues that is the uh, second type of plant tissue now permanent tissues are 
made up of cells which have lost their capability to divide. That is, meristematic cells are continuously dividing, whereas permanent tissues are made up of cells which have lost their capability to divide. They may be dead or living. Next, coming to their types. One is simple permanent tissue, another one is complex permanent tissue. Now, what is simple permanent tissue? That means the tissue is made up of cells which are similar in structure and function. Coming to their different types. Move to the table which is given on page number 12. Difference between parenchyma, cholenchyma and sclerenchyma based on certain points. So we will discuss them one by one. So first parenchyma has living cells. Cholenchyma is also made up of living cells whereas sclerenchyma has dead cells. Second, the cell wall of parenchyma is thin. In cholenchyma it is slightly thick whereas in sclerenchyma it, they have thick cell walls. Next coming to the intercellular space. Parenchyma has large intercellular space that is the space between the cells is large. In cholenchyma very little intercellular space whereas in sclerenchyma they have no intercellular space. Coming to the cell wall. Cell wall is made of cellulose in parenchyma. In cholenchyma it is made up of cellulose and pectin. And in sclerenchyma, the cell wall has lignin, deposition of lignin. Next, coming to the location, that is where we find parenchyma, cholenchyma and sclerenchyma in plant. That is, parenchyma is present in epidermis and softer tissues like mesophyll of leaf, flower and fruit. Cholenchyma is found below epidermis in petiole, leaves and stems. Sclerench <coughs> Sclerenchyma is found in the husk of coconut, in stems around vascular bundles, in the veins of leaves, in the hard coverings of seeds and nuts. Next coming to the function of parenchyma. Parenchyma provides support and also stores food and waste products. Cholenchyma also gives support to the plant. Sclerenchyma also gives support to plants. Now next is if these parenchyma and cholenchyma cells they contain chloroplast we call it as chlorenchyma. And if parenchyma cells have air cavities in them we call those cells as Parenchyma. So, in complex permanent tissue, let us now see what is there. Now, complex permanent tissue are um, means what is complex permanent tissue? As we have learned, that simple permanent tissue is made up of one type of cells which are similar, whereas this complex permanent tissue. They are made up of more than one type of cells. But they work together as a unit and they perform a common function. Xylem and phloem are the two types of complex permanent tissue. Now xylem and phloem together form vascular bundles and this xylem and phloem we call them as vascular tissues. Now, what are the four components of xylem? They are vessels, tracheids, fibers and xylem parenchyma. What are the four components of phloem? They are sieve tubes, phloem fibers, phloem parenchyma and companion cells. Next, coming to the function of xylem. It transports water and minerals from root Two different parts of plant. What is the function of phloem? It translocates or transports food from leaf to different parts of plant. 
So the difference between xylem and phloem is given over here. First two, you can call, uh, tell them as the differences between uh, difference between xylem and phloem based on structure, and third one is based on function. Next, coming to the differences between meristematic and permanent tissues. Now, first difference is based on the definition. If the difference between meristematic and permanent based on definition is asked, you will say that meristematic tissue has cells which actively divide or which continuously divide, whereas permanent tissues are made up of cells which have lost their capability to divide. Second difference is based on the location, that is where they are present. They may be based on the position of meristematic tissue in plant. They are of three types, apical, lateral, intercalary. So, uh, the location of meristematic tissue may be apical, it may be lateral or intercalary. Whereas permanent tissues location, they are distributed throughout the plant body. Next, coming to the type of cells which make up meristematic tissue. Now, the meristematic tissue is made up of cells having thin walls or thin cell wall and they lack vacuoles. Whereas permanent tissue, the cells are vacuolated and the cell wall is thick. Next difference is based on function. So, meristematic tissue, it helps in the growth of the plant. Whereas permanent tissue, they cause differentiation of cells. Last one is the difference between meristematic and permanent based on cell wall. So the cell wall is made up of cellulose in, permanent, in meristematic tissue. Whereas in permanent tissue, the cell wall has or is made up of either cellulose or lignin or suberin. Next is the difference between simple and complex permanent tissue. Now simple tissues as I said is made up of only one type of cells whereas complex tissues are made up of more than one type of cell. So uh, this way the differences between simple and complex you will learn and also the first one I have said that what are they made up of or definition, difference based on definition and the second one is based on the function. That is simple tissues, they are mainly responsible for support and storage of food whereas complex is mainly responsible for transport of water, food, all this. Now, simple are of three types, parenchyma, colenchyma, sclerenchyma whereas complex uh, are of two types one is xylem another one is phloem so next day we will do animal tissues